Greetings. It's a privilege to salute you on behalf of the women and men who work here at the Texas Conference. We're hoping and praying that the Lord has blessed you as the new year has begun and that uh, you have recognized that he has led in a magnificent way over the course of 2016. As we begin 2017, we want to express gratitude for an excellent year that the Lord gave us. We have seen many great things happen here in the Texas Conference. Of course, there have been challenges that had to be met, but we see the Lord's presence, we see his guiding, his direction, and his love for his people and his work. We have seen great growth in spirituality from the young to the older here in the conference and around the territory of Texas. And we want to express great and profound gratitude that the Lord continues to lead his people forward. We don't only see busyness coming and going, but we also see more importantly, diligence, the burden for souls, the burden to finish the Lord's work here in this territory. And we thank God for that. We praise God that uh, we are approaching 3,000 that have been baptized over the course of the last year. And that is a, a great thing, but we also, at least I do personally, as I drive up and down the I-35 corridor, and I see from time to time those flashing signs that give the numbers of those who have died on Texas highways. It brings more urgency to the fact that we need to reach more people in this great state with the good news of the gospel and the soon coming of Jesus Christ. We're pleased that we passed the 56,000 member mark, placing Texas now third on the uh, chart of the largest conferences here in the North American division. And 56,000 members aren't just numbers. More importantly, it expresses that by God's grace, we are occupied in increasing his kingdom for his name's honor and glory. So Texas is now the third largest conference in the North American division, behind Southeastern California and behind Florida. And we trust that the Lord will continue to grow his work here in Texas. We now have over 300 churches and companies within the Texas territory, 140 of which are Hispanic churches. The Hispanic work here in Texas has just exploded over the course of the last 15 years. And it, how, it now has a very large, the largest Hispanic presence in North America. We're growing God's kingdom, but growing God's kingdom includes various components. We don't want to leave out the importance of marriage and family, children and youth, Adventist education. And the Lord has impressed upon us the fact that we need to press forward in those avenues. A recent addition to the ministries here in the Texas Conference has been the health ministry under the direction of Dr. Errol Bryce. And we feel that that is moving forward as well as a key component. It has always been a key component of the Seventh-day Adventist message. And we plan to increase that during 2017. In 2017, there are great opportunities. There are great challenges, but there are great opportunities to do something spectacular for the Lord. And so our prayer here is that you and your family and your church, your school, the entities that represent God's work, that we all press forward together and that we do all that's within our capability individually to increase the kingdom of God, but to also hasten his coming. May the Lord bless you, your family, your church, your school. In 2017, may this be a banner year for the Lord and his kingdom.